what's up guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be straightening my hair for the first time in like five or six years i'm really nervous about this my hair has not been straightened in a long time and i don't really know how i feel about it but i want to see i want to see what my hair is going to look like so this is what my hair is looking at right now I'm just going to section off my hair into small sections and then I will start with the blow drying first. Alright you guys, my hair is separated and I am ready to blow dry. The first thing I'm going to use actually on each section, I just separated it just so it's easier to um, distribute the heat protecting serum. So this is the one I'm going to use. It's olive oil, silk and shine, heat protecting serum infused with coconut oil for restoration and shine. So this is what it looks like. And I'm also going to link that in the description box below. So first I'm going to start with the back. And I'm just going to speed through this one. So I will be back with you guys when my whole hair is blow dried. But before I do the first thing I do is just put on the a little bit of the heat serum, like just that much. Put a lot on my ends. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, okay. This is the blow dryer that I'm going to use. It is, I have no idea what this is, Andis. I think I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply or Walmart, I don't know. And I'm gonna put it on medium heat. Brown. Ooh, holy crap guys. I did not know my hair was this long. Ooh. All right. I'm so nervous. I know I said that I did the blow dryer on uh, medium, but on the second one, I changed it to low just because I was too afraid that it was going to be too hot. I really don't want to put too much heat in just because it's already going to be on a flat iron. So, okay, I'm going to play with my hair. Let's get into the flat iron. Flat iron is heating up, and I'm going to separate my hair.
So first I think I want to do, I'm not going to do any part actually. I'm not doing a part. So the top is going to be like just whatever. Okay, I got my first section. Everything is good. And I have this like chaser comb thing. <laughs> I can't remember if I got this at uh, Sally's Beauty Supply probably or I think maybe Amazon. I'll find the link. But it's a chaser comb to follow down the thing. I wonder if I'll use this or maybe I'll just use a regular because it's Feels like it's gonna be annoying. I'm gonna just use it for a regular comb. So this is the flat iron that I'm gonna be using. It is a Royal Professional Straightener Iron. It's a ceramic iron, so it's, I heard those are better, but this is the one that I have, so I don't know. Let's begin. I'm just gonna do two passes. I'm not gonna do any more than that. And this is pretty straight as it is. And luckily when it hit my skin, it did not burn my skin. So I think we are good on the heat damage. <laughs> so let's do the other section. I'm just gonna go really slow the first time and then just do like a faster pass on the second one. So far, so good. All right, let's keep it moving.
It's a little bit poofy right now just because the bathroom is actually really hot with all these uh, tools and my hair was already starting to like puff back up. So and I got the fan to cool off the bathroom for the second half of my hair, but it already started to poof up. So I mean, like, what are you gonna do? I'm not gonna put any more heat on it. So this is how it's just gonna stay. I'm just gonna wrap it um, going to bed so it can uh, straighten out a little bit more without heat. A reminder, this is the first time I'm doing it in like five years, so it's not gonna be perfect. But then again, when my hair was already relaxed, I used to have it more bone straight because it was already basically damaged. Relaxed hair is damaged hair, so I'm trying not to get back to that. But yeah. And I hope you guys like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share with everybody you know. Um, yeah, and thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.